Hi everyone, my name is Zuzia and today I want to talk about disintegrating into type 2. If you want to know a little bit more about what I think uh, it feels like to be a type 4, then you can see my video about it and the link will pop up somewhere here on the screen and also it's going to be in the description. But if you're interested only in the disintegration, then this is what the video is going to be about. Um, just before I dive into it, I just want to say that I'm going to talk about how type 4 is disintegrating into type 2, which essentially means that if we're in stress or in crisis, then we start behaving in a similar way that type 2s tend to behave. However, it doesn't mean that if those behaviors don't serve us well, um, then it means that those behaviors are generally bad because um, maybe for some people, for example, for type twos, these behaviors are helpful or they are just important to do. They're just not bad. Uh, so I just want to say that it's not like I'm calling those behaviors toxic or bad in general. That's not what I'm saying. Okay, so starting the topic, I will be talking about my personal experience as a type four I will be talking about what I think uh, this integration feels like. I'm not going to be diving into any advice yet in this video because I think I'm going to make another video just for integrating into type one because there, there will be some advice about how to get out of this integration, you know? <laughs> so it will make sense then. I prepared a few points to talk about and the first one is basically why type 4 is disintegrating at all and I think this is connected with empathy, you know, and misinterpreting the emotions that you are feeling because type 4s are known for being highly empathetic and if you are so, then you may sometimes not recognize which emotions are your own and which are of other people. And so if other people feel disappointed, bad, sad, unsatisfied, then you may feel this as well. And you may just dis misinterpret it as your own feelings. And so if other people feel disappointed, then somehow you will feel disappointment too, or you will feel sadness out of, out of nowhere. If you combine it with this tendency of type 4 to... Um, identify with the feelings that you feel, then you may feel like, oh, I am constantly depressed or I am constantly dissatisfied, you know? The problem begins when you stop being cautious with your emotions and when you stop being aware of what is happening in your environment and you kind of misinterpret everything that is going on and there's a lot going on inside of a type 4 all the time because there's so many things happening and there's so many people feeling things, saying things, wanting things and then a type 4 will just absorb all of this and be like, I feel a lot, I don't know what's going on, I am confused and at the end of the day, if you don't understand yourself, you might end up being depressed. You might end up judging yourself and you might end up misunderstanding yourself and this is, I think, um, what causes, what causes yet again depression in type 4, being, feeling misunderstood, especially by yourself. So I feel like this is the first step to disintegration, misinterpreting your emotions, not being careful enough with your own emotions. So the next step I feel is taking responsibility for all of this, meaning I feel this way because I'm just not good enough or I feel this way because I am just such a sad person I am so pathetic I am so hopeless I don't deserve better apparently like others have it so much easier and I am here stuck with my depression or like I'm stuck with not feeling satisfied and I don't even know what I need like I, it feels like I have everything already and yet I feel bad I feel like it's easy for a type 4 to forget that the world is very complex and if you feel a certain way then you have a good reason for feeling this way it's just not so it's not always apparent why you feel this way but it's definitely not because you're different you're worse 
that um, you're malfunctioning. It's not because of this. However, when you're already at this stage of blaming yourself for feeling bad, for being a bad person, for not being good enough, then it's easy to interpret your, relationship, your relationships through this lens too. And so you start thinking, I am alone right now because nobody loves me and obviously like there's no reason no, there's no good reason to love me because I am such a bad such a bad person and all of this. It's also all connected with low self-esteem uh, which I would say this low self-esteem is corrupted in a way because it's not really based on reality. It's based on misinterpreting reality of misinterpreting firstly your own states inner states so i think this is a huge and deeply rooted problem that is not easy to recognize if you're not very aware of it and it's not easy to cure easily because it's you see it starts from a very subtle thing which is not which is not noticing that hey i have some feelings that i haven't noticed at the very beginning and then it kind of snowballs into thinking wow, nobody loves me, <laughs> suddenly, you see? Then it snowballs even more, because you start thinking that all those people that left me, all those people that mistreated me, didn't appreciate me or whatever, they did it because I'm not worthy of this, or this is my fault in some way. You may think that you didn't do good enough, that you didn't do enough to make them stay, and it might result in creating those habits of adapting yourself to others. That's when type four stops being assertive, stops saying what they need, because they feel like if they need something, then it's probably because they're different from other people. Like other people don't need this. Other people are doing fine. I should do fine as well, right? They start hiding how they truly feel, what they truly want, and it is just a really bad path because this is a path of pleasing other people, of adapting yourself to every situation, um, of not being yourself. And I think this is when it becomes a little bit more apparent how type four is becoming similar to type two because type two function, functions as a helper, right? And, but for type four, it's uh, in an unhealthy way. It's through hating yourself. You want to please others because you don't feel like you deserve to be pleased yourself in a way. And so another problem that comes out of it is feeling like the love you give is bigger than the love you receive. When you're in this mode of like pleasing others, then you obviously avoid showing how, what you need. And so other people don't know what you need don't know who you are, don't know what you're really thinking or feeling and they might be confused about it even and so you end up not getting things that you need you might not be getting the love that you need because nobody knows that you really need it that you, that you want it, that you ask for it I'm not saying that this is always the case but it might be sometimes the case that uh, this is the reason why type 4s feel like they give a lot more love than they than they receive and they may feel even more unlovable and i think that's when we get to the kind of the worst point when a type 4 might feel like they are not whole they are not complete without another person or without like other people they feel like they don't fit they simply don't fit they cannot find themselves in the world they don't have, they feel like they are alone, they are lonely even, they don't have friends or they don't have friends that understand them and maybe they don't understand them because they would never really explain because they would feel unworthy of understanding, you know? It sometimes feels like a circle without, without escape. Uh, this is when a type 4 might feel like um, they they just need someone else um, to fix them. And yeah, um, this is basically the process that I noticed 
and I think this is very difficult to get out of. And what I just described sounds very dramatic and maybe severe, and it might be severe in real world too. However, sometimes it's just very subtle. It's sometimes something that happens only in your head. It may be a lot less severe in everyday life, but then you find yourself having a breakdown and suddenly all of this feels very hard to deal with. Honestly, I think there are ways to deal with this. It's just not so easy. And so I think I'll be doing another video, uh, which will be about integrate integrating into type one. And so if it's already out, then also a link to it will pop up somewhere on the screen. And yeah, tell me what you think. Tell me if you agree with any of those. And yeah, see you next time. Bye.